Imagine being in a bubble, immune to all life's disturbances. How does that sound? Too good to be true. Well, say no more. Welcome back, everyone. Gabby here. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. I always love reading the comment section. Also, make sure to watch till the end as we traverse through the intriguing world of mastering the art of not letting anything bother you. In our everyday lives, we come across situations that can evoke all kinds of emotions. Sometimes it's due to things like dealing with siblings, understanding feelings in relationships, or worrying about money. What's interesting is that these situations usually follow a pattern, akin to how you know a train is coming because you hear it getting louder and closer. As we go through life, we start to notice these patterns more and more. It's like having a sixth sense. You just know when something is about to happen. And when you're in that moment, you have a choice. You can either let your emotions take over and react without thinking, or you can stay calm and choose how you want to respond. Imagine it like being on a road with two different paths. One path leads to reacting quickly and perhaps not in the best way, while the other path is about taking a moment to think and then respond calmly. It's like being in control of a wild horse. You don't stop its energy, but you guide it in the right direction. Being aware of what's happening around you is like turning on a light on a cloudy day. It helps you see things clearly. And when you see a situation building up, you have a chance to do something about it before it gets out of hand. But hey, we're all human and sometimes we lose it. You know those moments when you just can't control how you feel, and it's like you're not even aware of what's happening. That's what we call losing it. And afterward, we might feel guilty or mad at ourselves for not handling things better. But here's the thing, it's okay to lose it sometimes. It's part of being human. Instead of beating ourselves up about it, we should try to understand why it happened and learn from it. It's like making mistakes. They help us grow and become better. So when we're feeling all sorts of emotions, it's important to acknowledge them. You know, like saying, hey, I'm feeling mad right now, or wow, I'm really frustrated. Just recognizing how we feel can help us understand why we're feeling that way. It's like shining a light on our emotions so we can see them more clearly. Once we've acknowledged how we feel, we get to control it. So instead of letting our emotions take over, we can take a deep breath and decide how we want to respond. It's like being the captain of our own ship, steering it through choppy waters with ease. This technique alone has helped me at work in many frustrating situations. When we do lose control, it's important to accept it without being too hard on ourselves. We're only human after all. By accepting what happened, we can let go of the guilt and anger and focus on moving forward. Managing our reactions is like learning to walk a tightrope. It takes practice and balance. We need to pay attention to what triggers our emotions and learn how to respond in a calm and collected way. But here's the interesting part. When we're aware of our reactions, we can actually change how things turn out. Instead of reacting impulsively, we can choose to respond thoughtfully. When we learn to manage our reactions and stay calm, it helps raise our vibrations. Think of it like this. When we're feeling good and in control, it's like our energy is buzzing with positivity. And when we're vibrating at a higher frequency, we attract more good stuff into our lives like happiness, love, and all the good vibes. So by learning to navigate our emotions, we're not just making ourselves feel better. We're also attracting more awesomeness into our lives. How cool is that? So now let's embrace our emotions and learn to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. Remember, it's okay to lose it sometimes. What matters is how we acknowledge it and keep moving forward. I really hope you liked this video. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share it with anyone who needs a positive lift in their life. Thanks again until next time. Keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and keep manifesting.